I'm gonna show you something real quick. I got an idea. You know those uh, toy drum kits, right? Those toy drum kits. The one with four screws. Like the one with four of these. You unscrew it. You unscrew it like that. Take those two out. And you put it in the inside. Uh, five dollars for a pair of uh, speakers with four screws that's the idea I'm gonna do the other two now they are on the inside and uh, they're just gonna kind of fit that way you'll see I'm gonna unscrew this from here That was going to the Twitter. That is gone. I'm put that out. Unplug the speaker. I'm gonna fix that. Put the screws back in. Now, as you can see, the mechanic is in the inside. Nice and smooth. You go back here, and there is this. Boom. But yeah, now you just gotta find a way to just attach it to something. So I popped that all in a corner of this, and I'm just gonna try to use the same principle I used before but for this as well I'll show you what I mean so now it works take the red black, black what you gotta do is to take a snare drum stand and just tilt it 90 degrees and you got yourself a sub kick and you get an XLR so I'm choosing this cable because of this reason. I just oh, Brandon. you un you unscrew it. You take all the cover up until you see these uh, wires and connectors. You just basically need to take these out and unsolder this. Okay, so this, so this is the important point. You have three cables coming out of the XLR. A red one, a white one, and then you have the ground. The white cable in the red connector, and the red cable in the black connector. You reverse them. This way, Basically, it's gonna switch the capabilities of this speaker and it's gonna become a microphone. I know it sounds weird, but that's how it works. So, you do it that way. And you connect it. Like that. personal suggestion is to add a pad on the preamp and eventually a low pass filter and just keep the frequencies that you want to keep. Enjoy it! <laughs>